y'all, Everyday Cache, back again with another Fashion Nova try on haul. I'm from the Fashion Nova curve plus size section. So if you're a size 2X or 3X and you're interested to see what I recently picked up, maybe go ahead and tap on the subscribe button. Let's get into it. All right, so first up is this metallic crop tank top. How fun is this? If you've been watching some of my recent videos, then you would know that one of the trends to try as a plus size woman this fall and winter seasons is, of course, metallics. What a fun way. This was one of the trends that carried over from the fall season into winter. And what a cool way to play with metallics, but be able to layer up and maybe cover it. If you are not entirely sure that you absolutely love this trend, this is a smaller piece and maybe not as bold as the metallic skirt that you see pictured here. I know some of y'all love the way that I styled that. Others were a little bit nervous about how it would wear on them. So this is a perfect alternative. At no more than $25, this is absolutely a piece that you need. I cannot wait to wear it. I'm actually gonna grab a couple of pieces that I would style this crop tank with, so give me just a second. All right, so here is a potential look. As you can see, I grabbed the Air Jordan 1 in the Royals, um, and then of course, I grabbed the Nike Air Maxes, the Silver Bullets, and I am loving the possibility of either of these shoes with this look. I paired it with a jacket that I got from Forever 21 years ago, and the silver details just really lend to pairing it with grays or silver. So I think this could actually be a look. I might would even wear this with perhaps like a heel. Look at that. I just love the way those sweatpants fall. So I would maybe wear these pants or a different pair, but I really, really like how the blue jacket gives not only the metallic um, crop tank some texture, it gives it some shape, some roundness almost. I mean, not necessarily just roundness, but, <laughs> but gives it some roundness in, in terms of the look and the vibe, but kind of makes it a little more subtle so that it isn't so bright and so bold again, which might not be something Something that you're comfortable with so I'm absolutely loving this almost as an entire look but certainly the upper half as a potential wearable option what do y'all think tell me in the comments down below and let's move on to the next piece well baby start a return label because it is giving very much what I ordered versus what I got <laughs> where well, I thought I was wearing this where like shoulder and backage out look at that oh my god there is so much out that I almost have to wear it somewhere warm but then thinking about wearing it somewhere warm is giving me very much the sleeves I wouldn't want to deal with and it's kind of like a satin material I like the top which is actually why I did order it like I know why I ordered it it's really really cute I'm just not entirely sure that I feel confident and comfortable in it. I will say though, it is also very well fitting in terms of like the arms, the elastic is comfortable right here. Look at that. There's space, it's light and airy, but is it my vibe? Is it my style? I don't know. I love the elastic back back here. Like, I like that, man. You feel me? I like that. On the inside, there is a sticky material that will adhere, not adhere, but like, you know, stick to your skin so that there is not as much falling over on the top, which I would appreciate. I could almost imagine obviously styling this with a pair of wide leg like linen pants, something that's super high waisted. So I'm not giving too much midriff, but is, you know, nice and A-line, maybe even a beautiful skirt something that might be skin tone or picks up on like one of these colors would just be super fun with a pair of, I would just imagine like a pair of Hermes, okay, or Ron sandals. Those would be super cute. Um, or if we need something that's a little more relatively affordable, then obviously we could go with something similar to that style, but like a Tory Burch sandal would be really cute with this. I just, I'm looking forward to wearing it someplace where it is chilly here and only decently warm there, like a 70s kind of warm that I could wear, you know, maybe during the day to like breakfast or lunch and then completely be out. So like this, got it in a size 3X. I'm still trying to figure out like if I will keep it, 
because to be honest this was something that I was trying in terms of stretching my style and I'm not sure that immediately it is hitting the nail on the head I think I would want to stretch my style in ways that I'm more confident in terms of like how things fit but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments is this something that you would absolutely grab um, for my ladies who have larger arms this is so cute maybe some you know honey baked rolls on a bag hun I don't know I don't know this might be it for you it might be it okay I'm gonna go ahead and try on the next piece but stay tuned because I've got a couple of more blouses that you'll definitely want to check out friends I'm not sure if this is the front or the back I don't know I'm not sure but cute top it is this kind of ruched blouse got it in a size 3x but let me tell you something about this this is full chiffon so you want to be very careful about what you are wearing underneath it and how you smell underneath it and here's what I mean if you have ever worn a full like chiffon garment then you know that it picks up very easily on like the environmental smells or like fragrances so you probably want to spray yourself big down with perfumes um, some kind of mist maybe a dry spray as well because the minute that one of these chiffon like you know sides of the garment gets up into your armpit and catches just the tinge of musk I'm talking you could probably be the best smelling thing but maybe you know when you're outside for a time or if you wore this to like brunch or you wore it in the summertime um, or maybe in the spring rather because of the long sleeves and like it picked up on just a, a smidge of your sweat hun it, the, the whole garment is gonna tell on you so just be very careful about it but that's not to deter you from buying this beautiful blouse I did want to speak very quickly though about the fit on the arms for my lady who have um, larger arms or a larger like shoulder frame like I do I am pretty comfortable in the shirt I like the way it fits on the back but also it does have some pretty tight elastics on the arm to keep the ruching so it doesn't bother me because it is elastic like as you can see um, it is you know has quite some buoyancy but I don't know that might be a little annoying to my ladies who have larger arms than I do I don't know if there's a way to measure but yeah you just want to be cognizant about that feels really good at the wrist and of course as a person with longer arms as well um, I appreciate the extra space down here and length but yeah, just on the top of the arm. I like the way it looks and feels, but just something to keep in mind. Again, got this in a size 3X. Don't believe I paid over $25 for this blouse. Would be perfect, perfect with a pair of jeans, maybe a high-waisted pair of jeans, a cute chunky heel or something just, you know, super relaxed and comfortable, maybe a platform or some wide leg pants for brunch or a maybe more casual dinner as it gets closer to the warmer months. So maybe in the spring, like March or April, when it is still kind of cool at night, but you wanna be really flirty. I do think the color though kind of lends itself to daytime, so just be cognizant of that, but I am loving it right now, and I hope y'all are too. Let me know in the comments what you think of this piece, and I'm gonna go ahead and try on the next one. Easy peasy lemon, squeezy. All right, so the next piece, obviously, as you can see, is this mesh kind of denim print bodysuit. Got it in a size 3X. So glad that I did. It snaps down at the bottom, but gives you tons of room. So it doesn't have one of those like big hip loops though, where it's out. You can see it is fully, you know, coming down and covering. Um, so super comfortable. Also, what a cute little detail right on the hand. This little hole for your thumbs adds in some extra flair and fun. I'm not sure how I intend to wear this other than with denim on denim, <laughs> but we'll see. I mean, I definitely like the way that it's kind of playing with gray. Obviously, I am a gray fan. It just kind of, you know, keeps it fun and funky, but I could also imagine throwing some red in with this, maybe some lime green or neon green. So maybe my um, Yeezy frozen yellows could be fun. Obviously some light blues and some harsh blacks. So I might wear like a black blazer on top of it or maybe a black leather skirt. I'm just really excited about how I can style this. I think it's an easy piece. I know I didn't pay over 20 bucks for it and I'm so glad that I went ahead and grabbed this. 
love the mesh detailing fits phenomenally on me like i said go true to size i am up top about a 3x now right between a size 18 and a size 20 um but my bottoms are like a 16 18. anyway i am digging it i hope y'all are as well go ahead and get you one sis because this is definitely a must-have piece for your wardrobe now let's move on to the next piece all right y'all so the next piece is actually supposed to be this ruched kind of you know blouse they call it the jade open front ruffle top and hun this this is just another fashion nova fail i'm kind of sad about it because it just doesn't fit it's way too taut around the bodice like i've already tried it and i just decided it didn't make sense for me to come on I mean, look at that. You know what I mean? It just didn't make sense for me to come on camera trying to cover my body out of up because of everything that it was leaving, okay, out and hanging. So anyway, um, this blouse, I don't believe I paid more than like 18 bucks for it. And it is really, really cute. So if you are a um, size, mm, I would say a size 2X, go up in size so you have a little more room because this wasn't very forgiving for my larger ladies i wouldn't recommend it but i do like the top i like the sleeves on the top uh, i like where it cuts so it's actually a full blouse and not crop top so you can like decide what you want to do with it but it just wasn't really my flavor and i feel like i have enough white and ivory or off-white blouses that i didn't need to add one that wasn't going to fit immediately right like I can pick another item out of my closet and wear that for brunch if I needed to before I grabbed for this something that wasn't gonna fit or tried to like make it work you know what I mean but I do like the blouse and you know it could be worth it but this is one of the few things that doesn't work for me these days but you'll have to see the next piece because would y'all have the hardest time if I just kept this bodysuit on? <laughs> you probably didn't even see it because you are blinded by this super fun shacket. Y'all, Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova got no one with this shacket, man. I really like this, okay? I'm excited to wear this. I'm actually going to the mountains in February with my mom. We're doing a little girl's trip. So if you want to see that vlog, let me know down in the comments below. So I decided just to pick up some like winter weather items <laughs> like important items to wear and i'm really really loving this isn't it just so cute if you watched my last fashion overhaul then you would have seen those pants those brown like cargo style pants those could actually be maybe a bit of fun to wear with this jacket what do y'all think um if i can get those in the right size i think i could pair those but i could also wear black like an all black base, which is one of my favorite things, especially when there's a lot of texture or happenings on the jacket. Or I could obviously do um, denim jeans I could wear under this. I intend to wear it with maybe like a toboggan, like a Carhartt toboggan, which I've linked down below if y'all wanna see like my vision. Um, but I also kinda like these wide leg pants with the jacket. That's kind of a vibe too, right? Like just big and oversized and comfortable. Okay, it's getting kind of like the couch from Roseanne or, or like a 90s country show. <laughs> I think y'all pick up on the reference, but I'm still vibing it. I kind of like it and I appreciate it. I know y'all can probably see it, but I appreciate the extra width that Fashion Nova provides in the hip area for shackets. They just kind of give you a little extra shape. So you can see naturally it thins right here in the waist. And then I got a little kind of almost right near the pocket, got a little extra budge, which just makes it feel more feminine and more fun and not like I literally took the upholstering of a couch and put it on my body, okay? So yeah, got it in a 3X and glad I did. It is oversized, but I don't think that it is too large. Sleeves are definitely long enough. They do come with a button, which is nice and sturdy. I'm really actually surprised at the quality these days of Fashion Nova garments. Like I've really been hitting the nail on the head, but I also know how to shop Fashion Nova. So, so that you're not, you know, buying things, especially because of Fashion Nova's return policy, you're not just buying things and you're unable to utilize them or unable to wear them in a way that you should when you're making investments into your wardrobe. So really, really like this piece. I'm excited to add this to my jacket collection. So 
Yeah. All right, y'all. So that is it for this fashion of a try on haul. Like I mentioned, everything is linked down below. Size information, the names and links of all of the pieces that I tried on today, as well as some of the items that I would recommend you styling those pieces with. So be sure to check that out. Leave the comments as I've asked throughout the video about what your thoughts were on some of these pieces. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.